Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to record your iPad screen um, without a jailbreak. So there is apps on the App Store, I think there's one, but it's just really bad, it's really laggy, I just don't like it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, two things you'll need, um, or three things, including your iOS device. You have to make sure your device is actually either an iPhone 4S, an iPad 2, or up. I think the iPad mini works, you'll have to just like Google... Um, to see which devices support AirPlay, because every device that supports AirPlay will support this. Um, so I've got an iPad 2 here. I know you can use it with this, which I'm using right now, which is a iPhone 4S, which I'm recording with. Um, so you have to make sure that you actually have a device that actually works. The second thing that you will need is a computer. So I've got my gaming computer right here. And the third thing you'll need is obviously an internet connection. That's It doesn't have to be amazing, but it has to be pretty good. Um, but when you're playing, obviously, you'll be watching your screen rather than what's on here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you'll know in a second. So let's go on with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is download these two programs. Um, it's Fraps and Reflector. Reflector actually has a trial version where after 10 minutes, I think, it cuts out. But obviously you can restart it and then 10 minutes again it will cut out. You can use it as many times as you want, it's just, you know, 10 minutes is the max. Um, then on Fraps, I'm not sure if it has a trial version, I I got it from a friend. But, um, it's probably the best, yeah, probably one of the best, um, you know, video recorders. Just because it doesn't lag, and it's just, I don't know really, it's just good. So, um, what you want to do is start up Reflector, which I've already done. Um, and in the bottom right, I'm using Windows 8. I think this is the exact same on Windows 7. As you can see in the top left, there's this little icon here, which is the uh, reflect icon. So if you right-click that, you can change some preferences. So you can change um, what it's optimized for. So it changes like the like the image and the size of the image, um, like the screen size and the image around it, which you'll see what I mean in a minute. Because um, there's like iPads, iPhones, iPhone 5s, iPad minis, um, iPods, stuff like that. Um, the name, and you can have a password as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, you have to make sure that it's always down there and it's always running. Or it just won't work. Then on your iPad, what you want to do is swipe up or, you know, press the home button twice. Um, if you're on an iPhone, you want to swipe to the right two times. So you want to go one and then two, and that will bring you to a new thing. But if you're on the iPad, you just swipe to the right once, and you'll see this icon right there, if I can actually focus on that. Um, basically, that's the AirPlay icon, and you tap that. <laughs> tap that. And then you click on Arcane, or whatever you know your AirPlay name is, and click on Mirroring. And then on your computer, you will see, hopefully, if it comes up, there, your screen will come up. So, I only have this little FPS counter, which is frames per second, if you don't know what that is. Um, so, I only have that there, because in Fraps, I wanted that there. Um, you can actually take that off if you open Fraps, which is what we're going to do next. So, um, this obviously just mimics your screen. There is a bit of lag, but obviously you'll be playing off your iPad, and you won't be focusing on that. That's just for recording. So, if you're going to do commentary then it's probably best to um it's probably best to just record it as you're doing it like normally so maybe use audacity or something which is a sound recorder and like link it up to your computer record it as you like if you um got killed then don't wait till you see it on that screen because that will just kind of put you off just kind of speak normally and then you can just move up the audio a bit so it you know it corresponds with this, so it's not laggy, so you don't, like, die on here after you go, oh, I'm dead, like, five minutes before. But yeah, so, um, once you've got your screen up on the computer, you can open Fraps. So, once you open Fraps, it will come up with a thing, and you'll just say yes, you don't have to click on anything. Um, pretty much what you do is you just open it, and whatever this hotkey is right here, this right here, um, you just press that, so F9, you'll press it when you're in 
like with reflector on top. So basically, um, just you know, minimize the fraps, and then you can just start recording straight away. Um, for some reason, I think it's my internet connection. I couldn't actually keep mirroring. Yeah, it's my internet connection. So basically, just press whatever the hotkey is. It'll record. Um, you can also click on a settings in fraps. You'll have to do it yourself because I don't have much space left on this phone. Um, but there's basically it splits the like video if it's larger than four gigabytes, and it does get very large very quickly. And that's what she said. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Then you just edit it in a you know editor, which I've got Sony Vegas Pro. Just drag and drop. Do all your stuff. Render it, or you know whatever you do, and upload it to YouTube. So I hope this this helped, guys. I will be editing this very soon and get it onto YouTube for you guys. Um, ask me any questions you want. I think I might have missed a lot of stuff because basically this phone only has like a few hundred megabytes uh, left of space. So I had to. You can see, look, I've been. That's my first recording. That's my second, and that's my third. This is my fourth. So I had to keep recording, stopping, recording, stopping, putting it on my computer, deleting. So sorry if I'm speaking really fastly, fastly, fast. Um, because, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll try and get an ordinary cast video out soon. If I get to level 70, which I probably won't anytime soon, but I'm trying. It takes a long time for me because I just haven't been on for ages. And uh, let's all laugh as we leave at my time on my iPad.